Hello, kia ora, g'day, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia-only weather forecast for the next week ahead, recorded on Wednesday the 7th of January. A couple of programming notes, obviously I'm off screen uh, again today, back on screen next week. We've got the trusty green hand still here in my place while I take sort of a holiday. Uh, and the other programming note is we currently don't have a video planned for tomorrow Thursday, but in saying that, we are monitoring what is going on up here around the Coral Sea in Queensland with this potential tropical cyclone. And as you're going to see in a moment, the word potential is quite relevant to this particular low. It is a messy one and it may or may not turn into a cyclone. So at this stage, no video planned for Thursday, but if we see more development with this low, we will have a special Queensland update. Let's have a look at the satellite imagery showing some rain uh, up here in the green around Queensland as that low starts to deepen, also up around the far north of Queensland, the tropical uh, thunderstorms, but elsewhere really quite dry. I mean, we've got a few inland thunderstorms and a couple here around parts of the Northern Territory. Uh, a few showers and a few isolated thunderstorms in this line of convergence through Western Australia. Most of the wet weather though is actually forming offshore. And we've got a couple of showers in the southern coastline as well, but large dry areas, especially around the southeastern quarter of Australia at the moment. On the air pressure mat, you can see why. High pressure just out here in the Tasman Sea. That is the reason why it is dry and why the temperatures are going up in the southeastern corner of Australia at the moment. The southwestern corner mostly dry, but a more refreshing airflow coming in, a southerly wind along that coastline going all the way up to the Midwest. Obviously offshore, we've got severe tropical cyclone Jana. That is going to fall apart. You can already see it sort of squashing into this high pressure zone. That high will just smother it. But at the time we recorded this, it was a severe category three tropical storm. And we've got the low up here. We're also monitoring this one. That is the one that could form into a cyclone. But because of this high in the Tasman, you can see how the high pressure zone has this southeasterly wind going all the way up to about Cairns. And that is the airflow that is kind of interfering in that low, deepening and turning into a tropical cyclone. So that's why there is a question mark over it. So here on Thursday, we've got a large but lazy area of low pressure in the Solomon Sea, Coral Sea area, feeding in rain and showers and easterlies and a fair bit of humidity for those of you in Queensland. At the same time, the heat extends right down all of New South Wales under that heat the ACT as well, and much of Victoria, all pretty much all of South Australia, except for the very, very southeastern corner. High pressure is moving into Tasmania. It's warm, but it's not as hot as it is up here in New South Wales. So certainly hot, but mostly dry weather over the southern half of Australia, and even up in the tropical third, the usual thunderstorms, but really nothing too dramatic. By Friday, the low in the Coral Sea area is starting to get a little better organized. That is because the high pressure zone that's interfering with it in the Tasman drifts closer to New Zealand. And as that high, the anticyclone here, drifts closer to New Zealand, it allows the low up here in the Coral Sea to get larger and to move closer towards Australia itself. Also, as the high moves towards New Zealand, it drags down that north to northwesterly wind Hot weather for you in Canberra and Sydney and Newcastle and all up along the eastern coastline of New South Wales. Hot and tropical weather right across Queensland, hot right across South Australia and much of Victoria. Again, it's just that little part of the south here between South Australia and Victoria, sort of around Mount Gambia. It's still going to be hot, but it may not be quite as hot as for those of you just a little bit further inland. A couple of showers around Tassie, otherwise settled. And Western Australia still dealing with a southerly wind. Might produce a little bit of cloud, a couple of showers, and a brisk southeasterly coming out here. That'll lift up the temperatures for some of you. As we go to Saturday, now we're seeing a larger, more significant low pressure zone around uh, Queensland. Out to the east, the high pressure system here, now more around New Zealand. So that means the hot weather exits Australia, it moves towards New Zealand as a windy, hot northwesterly uh, coming through there. The more refreshing southerly around the high pressure zone south of Western Australia, that now moves into Adelaide, it moves into Port Lincoln, it moves into the uh, southern part of South Australia, and it moves right in across all of Victoria by the end of Saturday. So that is a refreshing change. If you're in Tasmania, it'll become cooler for you and windy as well. Southwesterly winds could be gusty on Saturday as that temperature drops. But let's go back up to Queensland. I wanna show you the three different computer models and what they're saying at the moment. So um, 
Kick off first of all with the Bureau of Meteorology. Here is their outlook for 11 o'clock Saturday morning, Queensland time. This is a moderate risk here around uh, Cairns and Cooktown showing uh, what could be a tropical cyclone. There's also another area of low pressure west of the far north of Queensland. Now this one has a low risk of forming, but these two together are relevant. Now I'll show you in a moment why. This map doesn't really show it. The GFS one here, four o'clock Saturday Queensland time. This looks to me like a messy category one tropical cyclone. Wind, not really too much of a problem, but gale force winds, uh, potential around that system with heavy rain producing over 100 millimeters. So that is the GFS model. Look at the European model, big, large, lazy, low. Now that one, this model here is kind of merging what the Bureau of Meteorology showed as two different lows. And so what you're seeing is a very large, lazy area of low pressure here with the European modeling. This is not a tropical cyclone, but it is producing heavy rain. And again, the chance of 100 millimeters from Bowen up to about Cairns, 100 millimeters possible in some of these areas in just a 24 hour period. And then you've got the Bureau of Meteorology's modeling here. Four o'clock Saturday, very similar to the European one, shows just one large low. So three different models, three kind of different things. What I'm seeing is a lot of low pressure that may not form into a cyclone, but the rain is certainly there and the Bureau of Meteorology has slightly higher rainfall showing up to 150 millimeters of rain potential around Cairns and down to about Townsville. So those are the three different models. That's why there's a lot of uncertainty. The map here on Sunday, back to the American one. The American one is the only one really out of those three that is showing one consolidated low. And even here on Sunday, that is not a tropical cyclone by the looks of it, but it is producing some heavy rain, maybe up to 200 millimeters of rain falling in just 24 hours. So that's why it's a bit messy. That's why we may not have a video tomorrow, Thursday. We'll keep a close eye on it for you. Further southwards around the rest of Australia, not much to talk about. When I'm not talking about you very much, it's usually because there's not a lot of change. Southeasterly winds may be a little brisk from Victoria over to Perth. Uh, dry for the most part, just a couple of isolated coastal showers. Around New South Wales, got a temperature change coming through into Sydney and further northwards as that airflow comes out of the Tasman Sea. A few showers around might turn a little bit heavy into the afternoon. And a brisk northeasterly wind or northerly wind on the western side of the Great Dividing Range. By Monday, the Queensland low falls apart, large, lazy areas of rain, could be some heavy falls sinking further southwards along the coastline here, 150 millimetres potentially in just a day. And around New South Wales, we're seeing a few showers in the east, but inland could be getting a few heavier downpours with thunderstorms there. Dry for Victoria, Tassie, South Australia, and dry for much of Western Australia and much of uh, the Northern Territory, just a few thunderstorms up around Darwin and Catherine. On Tuesday, a few thunderstorms around the Kimberley. Look at the heat here, sinking back southwards around Perth. We will see thunderstorms lining up through the interior of Western Australia. And over on the other side, heavy rain left over from that low, driving in some heavy falls, and that sinks further down the coastline. Again, the chance of another 200 millimetres in some more isolated areas. Elsewhere around it, you're not seeing as much rainfall. So it's just a pocket of rain really developing there and thunderstorms possibly severe around New South Wales on Tuesday. Up here in the tropics, monitoring the next potential tropical cyclone. And our uh, next map here on Wednesday shows what could be a tropical cyclone near New Caledonia and Vanuatu, posing some threat to Queensland. There is still low pressure sitting up here around the Northern Territory and Queensland, spinning around here, producing thunderstorms mostly around Queensland and separately, but sort of related to it, thunderstorms here in New South Wales. Let's take a look at the rainfall now. Before I go, the next seven days, get an idea of what is going on. So you can see that tropical rain now, it depends on which of those models is accurate, but we're seeing 200 to 300 millimeters coming through in some areas and potentially further down the coastline as well. So a risk of flooding around Queensland over the next week. Thunderstorms uh, noticeably standing out here around New South Wales, also around the top end and the Kimberley. Elsewhere, very little to talk about over the next week ahead. That is all from me for today. Like I say, possibly not here tomorrow. All depends on that, that tropical storm. So if that tropical depression around Queensland looks worse, we will do a video update on Thursday. If it does not, I will catch you again on Friday.